What's going on YouTube family? Um, I just want to check in with you guys. I got a uh, real interesting question in my uh, inbox the other day, kind of out in the shop fiddling around right now. So this is what's up today. I have to get the boat ready to go to a private lake here later today. So getting out some baits, we definitely want to check that out. And I also have project dirt bike. So of course you saw my little boys loving dirt bikes now. I just bought him a new PW50 yesterday, so that's pretty cool. First off, we bought these little Chinese ones. I bought a Chinese one too, and that didn't work out so good. Well, it just didn't work out good. It's sort of like buying the Walmart Combo versus buying the nice Abu Garcia Revo MGX. Anyway, I got a cool question in my inbox about uh, about tournament fishing that I, I thought would be a good idea to address today. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about what age you should, uh, you should start tournament fishing in or, you know, what's too old, what's too young. And I'll, you know, I'll kind of share some of my opinions and exactly when I got started tournament fishing, and maybe this will help you guys that, uh, that asked this. It was such a good question that I felt like I wanted, instead of just directly sharing it with the person that asked it, I thought it'd be a good idea to um, let everybody know about it. So here we go, we're gonna talk about it. What age should you start tournament fishing? Let's start off with talking about when, what age should you start as far as on the younger side of the spectrum. I would highly suggest if you got like a nine, 10 year old dads out there, moms out there, granddads, uh, aunts, uncles, if you got a kid that likes fishing and he's probably somewhere between the ages of, I, I, you know, I'm gonna go as young as my kid. I wouldn't have any problem taking my kid uh, fishing tournaments yet. I just haven't decided to do that yet. But uh, he's six. If you got a child that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, Take them, take them to a to a team tournament. Uh, the reason I like it, and you're going to be in control because they're team tournaments. So it's not like they're going to be fishing with anybody else. I think it's a great idea for you to be the boat captain, if you want to say, since that's the popular word nowadays. But I think that's a great idea. If they're if they're really crazy about fishing when they're young and they're in school, go sit in the boat where it's a little bit more comfortable here. I think you should go ahead and take them. Take them. Let them fish tournaments. Those tournaments are inexpensive, and this is a time that you get really catch them, catch their attention. I think it's a good time to take them. So, you know, personally, if they can walk, cast, and they like fishing all day long and can stand all uh, all day period of fishing, as long as they can do that, at whatever age that is, I think that's an appropriate time to start them fishing. Now, let me give you my backstory. I think I mentioned a little bit of it in that piece right there. My very first tournament was when I was about 10 years old. So in second grade, I remember it pretty doggone well. I saved, I, I had household chores. I used to get five bucks a week to take to keep the trash out in every room in our house. And I saved those five bucks a week to be able to enter a night tournament and fish with my dad on Lake Hartwell. I remember it just like it was like a Tuesday night. I don't remember exactly what night it was, but I do remember it as a couple things. I had to take the trash out to save money to fish the tournament. And the other thing I remember is I caught the only fish that night. It's the only two things I remember. Probably why I hate night fishing to this day. It's just night fishing just doesn't do it for me. So, um, so yeah, that's that's how I got started. And then f fast forward on down the road, so that was in second grade. Like I said, my household chores was to keep the trash out in the kitchen, bedrooms, everywhere in the house. That, that was how I paid my dad. That's how I, I paid to fish tournaments. Well, fast forward, uh, you know, maybe a year or so, I got to fish my first big tournament, 100 plus boat tournament. This is pretty cool. I think you're gonna like this. Um, still remember this to this day. I'm 35 years old. It's about 10 or 11 years old. And um, there was a tournament that came to Clark's Hill. And uh, I think it was called the Mega Bucks. This was a bigger tournament. Like I say, 100 plus boats there. And I got to fish that event. Same thing. I think I had to save those five bucks a week. My, my job was 
I think I think that made me pay like a percentage of the entry fee. It wasn't half because it was like a two hundred dollar entry fee. So obviously, at ten years old, at five dollars a week, that was going to take a long time. I might have had to pay fifty or sixty bucks. Uh, so I remember xing off on the calendar how many weeks it would take for me to earn the money that I needed to fish that tournament. And so, pops and I fished that tournament. Just skipped through a whole bunch of stuff. I caught my personal best bass that I still have mounted to this day in a tournament. I eight pounder, white and chartreuse, shad wrap on Clark's Hill when I was like 10 or 11 years old. See right there, that was the bass that I caught in that tournament um, that I fished with my dad when I was 10 years old right there. It was an eight pounder. It does not look like an eight pounder to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. But I caught it in a tournament and they said it was eight pounds, so it was eight pounds. But I caught my personal best tournament, that one right there. That was like my personal best until I was in my 20s, I eight pounded. And just, that was cool. I'm very compulsive, so, um, so I could stay out there 12, 14 hours a day and still wanna go fishing. Uh, but I think that's the way you should gauge it, not by age, you know, if they can stand being out there all day and not get frustrated, not get hungry, not want to play video games, I think that's the time to do it. All right, so let's fast forward and look at on the other end of the spectrum. What's too old? What What's too old to start tournament fishing? And man, you know, I'm going to go out of limb and say there's not an age that's too old. This, this is the beauty about fishing. This is one thing that I think... Uh, that is that we as the tournament anglers are sort of misinforming the general public about fishing is fun all right fishing is just the only reason i fish the reason i'm doing youtube the reason that i fish the flw tour the reason that i fish when i'm not doing any of those because i think it's fun i thought fishing was so much fun that i couldn't see myself working a normal mainstream normal world job i couldn't concentrate it's almost like i couldn't breathe unless i was fishing unless i was thinking about fishing going to the next place uh catching the next fish going salt water fishing pond fishing kayaking river wading tournament fishermen new york florida i can't i can't breathe unless i'm thinking about that it literally is depressing to me when i cannot go fishing because it's fun it's that much fun to me and I think we have not promoted the sport as fun as much as we should, especially from an angler aspect. We just want to get better, 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 which is cool. I, I think that's cool. Of course, I want to get better. Obviously, I want to get better. But we fish because it's fun. So there's not an age that you can put on fun. Of course, everything is a lot more fun when you know more about it, when you're good at it. But there's not an age out there. There's not an age limit, 75, 80. I took a man on the angler development last year that was 78 years old, and I took him to catch his first bass. That was the most rewarding time of my life. Somebody in 70, 70 you know, I take a lot of younger kids, but to take somebody that old that's seen so many things, done so much stuff that never caught a fish before, and I actually witness him or, or kind of coach him through catching a fish. That's like one of my greatest accomplishments since I've been fishing. And there's not an age to fun. So as long as you're keeping fishing fun, getting out there, there's not an age where you can't learn stuff about. There's so much information out there now through YouTube, through Google and the internet and everybody's putting out information out there right now so anybody can learn anybody that has ex access to that information can learn about fishing so i don't think there's a age that's too old to tournament fish there's a lot of clubs that are like uh, for 60 years and older 70 years and older guys just older guys that like to get together and keep it fun because i know a lot of times the younger guys in their 20s and 30s, 40s, 50s are a little bit more aggressive, want to fish all day long, want to go here, want to go there. I guarantee if you look in your area, there's a, a group of anglers that have older men or women 
that uh, that fish tournaments, a club, older older guys club, where they may only fish five or six hour tournaments, four hour tournaments. Atmosphere is a lot more laid back. Maybe they don't fish quite as often, probably fish through the week where there's a lot less traffic. So there is not an age. That's the best thing about this sport of fishing. There's nobody, nobody's rushed. Everybody can have fun at it. That's the best part about fishing. Fortunately, bass fishing is this sport that even if you want to pursue it from a professional standpoint, you've got a lot of time. You don't have to be in your 20s. You don't have to be in your 30s. You don't have to be in your 40s, 50s, and that's been proven over and over. You see, guys, I, I hate to I hate to throw names, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use some names here of some great examples of people that have done really well in the sport, young and old alike. For older guys, they say, "Well, I'm too old to do that," and younger guys, "Well, I want it within three years." They think if you don't do that, then I'm never gonna be Jordan Lee. And that's not the case. There's so many other examples out there: Boyd Duckett, the Randall Tharps. The guys that were in their 30s and 40s before they really went into their prime. Only thing I'm trying to do here is draw the picture is that you've got time on both ends of the spectrum, so don't rush yourself. I'm 35 years old, and I've been trying to do this for about 15 years. And I'm just scratching the surface. So, like, literally just scratching the surface. I haven't won a lot of money, hadn't done that well. But, dude, 50, I've got 15 more years of really good health, really good time. I mean, I have, I've only fished 15 years up until now, so I've got at least that much more time. So um, take your time. Fishing is a sport where it's not age-specific. Of course, the younger guys are probably a little bit more agile. Of course, the young, younger guys will probably learn a little quicker, uh, but it's all about attention span. In your mind what do you think you can do so that's a little spin on what age should you start tournament fishing in you're never too old never too young fishing is for everybody anybody can do it anybody can have fun anybody can get out there and catch a bass so take that do whatever you want to with it i don't know you could help me in this comment section of this video you might like it. I don't know, but that's a little bit of my perspective on when you should, uh, should start tournament fishing.